This video is going to be about basic color correction and grading. A quick disclaimer, I'm not a professional colorist, so I will be showing just my routine. And the second thing, I will be using DaVinci Resolve, because I think the DaVinci Resolve is the best for color grading purposes. It's not a sponsored video, obviously, I've got like... By the way, DaVinci Resolve, Blackmagic Design. If you're watching this by some miracle, give me a call about this, and we'll discuss this thing over. I've got like 28 subscribers. Not 28 million, no, not 28,000, no, not 2800, just 28. What? 27? Fuck. Today we'll be turning this image into this one. Let's jump into the venture result. Okay, I have downloaded a couple of video samples from Red Weapon Camera because it's got a crazy dynamic range and an amount of data, thus making it a pleasure to color grade. I will be aiming for slightly gloomy, washed out look. Let's get started. First of all, we're gonna need to color correct the image before grading it. The point of color correction is to get the image as close as possible to the real picture and the grading is the fun and creative part. Let's create a new node using Alt plus S on your keyboard. And the first thing we're gonna do is to set a white balance if it's slightly off. To understand whether our white balance is off and if we reset it correctly, we're gonna open the waveform by clicking the right mouse button on the main screen and selecting Show Scopes. Now we can see that our white balance is ever so slightly off. We can easily fix this by clicking on this icon in here and then clicking it on the white object in the scene. In this case it's water, which is not ideal because those highlights do not bear information about white color. But let's try it out. As we can see by the whitening of the top of the waveform, white balance is now properly set. Now let's open RGB parade. The bottom line represents the darks and the top line whites. We are going to fix this image using primary color reels. Lift for adjusting shadows and gain for adjusting highlights. Then we're gonna slightly reduce gamma for better contrast. Now let's create another node and increase contrast because this image was shot in RAW, meaning that we get a flat picture profile which looks like all colors have been dimmed down, but it's giving a wide range for color grading. Let's create another node and work on curves. Again, bottom left part represents shadows, top right highlights. We are going to reduce highlights slightly and boost up the shadows a little bit to restore some of the information from those shadows in the trees. Now let's create another node and work in colors. We're gonna open hue versus hue curves and select this green color. By pulling down, we make it look greener, like those have a green forest. Then open hue versus saturation curves, and by selecting the same color, we're gonna reduce saturation of it. Then what we need to do is to clean our shadows, and to do that, we're gonna open lumetri versus saturation curves. By clicking on this black dot, we will separate the blacks, and then by dragging this end down, we are going to clean our shadows and get rid of any colors in them. Now I'm probably going to reduce the overall saturation slightly. And the last note we're gonna use to add some teal color in shadows and some green color in highlights. And by adjusting low range and high range we're gonna control the border where those colors are applied. Then I think I will slightly reduce shadows in here and we are done. So this is before and this is after. Not ideal, but good enough. 